Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the zigzag spike puff stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a wonderful crochet stitch. The fabric uh, result is very, very dense, very thick as you can see here in the photo. So uh, it lends itself well to a variety of of crochet projects. You can have a lot of fun as well uh, with colors. The same on both sides. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be working the zigzag spike puff stitch in three different colors. I'm going to be using a worsted weight 100% cotton yarn called Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. A direct link for the free written pattern can be found on richtexturescrochet.com and there's a direct link in the description of this video for that pattern. So thank you so much for joining me and while you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This crochet channel is updated weekly with free crochet stitch tutorials every Sunday and then crochet patterns throughout the week. To begin, for our stitch today we're going to need a multiple of two stitches for our foundation chain. We're going to start by making a slip knot and working in our first color, our color A, you're going to chain a multiple of two stitches. Today I'm going to start by chaining 22. Once you have your foundation chain the desired length, you'll begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. When you come to your final stitch, we are going to switch to our color B and I'll show you how I like to do that when we come across. When you come all the way across, you're going to want to switch to your color B in your final stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop with your color A, but then drop your color A, pick up your color B, place it on your hook, and pull through. You're now ready to continue working in your color B, and for this design we're going to leave our color A attached and then pick it up when we when we return. So we're going to then chain one and turn our work. For row two you're going to begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch. The chain one does not count as a stitch. Chain one and into the next stitch work a puff stitch. To work your puff stitch you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, into that next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll do that a total of three times. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, drop a loop one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Once you have seven loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops. Chain one, skip the next stitch and puff stitch into the next. Chain one and repeat. Skip the next stitch and puff stitch into the next all the way across and we're going to finish off with a single crochet into our final stitch. When you come all the way across at the end of row two, you'll have one stitch remaining. So you'll puff stitch, chain one, and single crochet into this final stitch. At this time, you're also going to switch to your color B. So yarn over, insert your hook, or sorry, your color C, and drop a loop, 
drop that color B, pick up your color C, place it on your hook, and pull through. You're all set then to continue working with color C in your third row. So we're going to chain one and turn. For row three, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into this first stitch and chain one. We're now going to jump across to our first skipped single crochet two rows below. So you're going to skip this next puff stitch and into the single crochet two rows below you're going to work one puff stitch. So working over that chain one space into the top of the single crochet work one puff. Chain one, skip the next puff stitch into the skipped single crochet two rows below work a puff stitch. Chain one, skip the next puff and continue. We're going to repeat this all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of your row three, you're going to skip that final puff stitch, single crochet into the top of the final single crochet, switching back to your color A, which is still down here attached. So you can just pick it up, place it on your hook. You're going to pull it up not too tight because you don't want it to bunch, but not too loose either because you want it to be snug along the edge. You can then chain one and turn your work. We're continuing to work in our color A. Once again, you'll begin by working a single crochet into this first stitch. And you're now going to work a puff stitch, uh, chain one, sorry. And you're going to work a puff stitch into the first space two rows below. So down here in between this puff stitch, there's a chain one space. So uh, between this first puff stitch and then the next puff stitch, two rows below, in between the single crochet and the puff, work your puff stitch. Two rows below. Chain one, skip the next puff stitch, then once again, down two rows below into the space between the puff stitch and the next work a puff. You're always working your puff stitches two rows below and over top of the space directly below it. So you're going to chain one, continue to repeat this all the way across, switching to your color B when you come to the end. When you come across at the end of row four, chain one and single crochet into that final stitch. This time switching over to your color B, which is just hanging down the side there. So place it on your hook and pull through. Chain one and turn your work. For row five, we're going to uh, single crochet into this first stitch, chain one, skip the next puff stitch, and into the space two rows below, work a puff stitch. Chain one, skip the next puff stitch, and puff down into the space two rows below. Continue to repeat, chain one, skip one, puff in the space two rows below. Repeat that all the way across.
When you come across at the end of row 5, you're going to single crochet into that final stitch, switching over to your color C, then chain 1 and turn your work. You're now, for the rest of the pattern, going to repeat rows 4 and 5, alternating between your colors A, B, and C as necessary. So your row 4 was a single crochet into the first stitch, chain 1, followed by a puff stitch into that first chain 1 space, 2 rows below. Repeat that chain 1, puff all the way across, switch to your next color, and, uh, and then you're going to repeat your last row 5. Uh, I'm just going to pull my, there we go, my yarn back on my hook. Um, so continue to repeat rows 4 and 5 for as long as you would like, and you're then going to fasten off, weave in your ends, and that is how you work this zigzag spike puff stitch. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.